question 2.41, as one of my viewers have requested, it says if the equivalent resistance is 50 ohms uh, in the circuit of figure, find R. Okay, so this one is a little different, but we can just use the same way or how we always like just like uh, find the equivalent of resistance you just use a number r and then just add it in there as a as a as a number but treat it as it's unsolved and then you in the end you're going to get r r equivalent and then you plug the number for r equivalent and then you solve for r right it's kind of like a uh linear algebra like the that we learned so uh these three are in parallel and uh, a quick trick is when when in a parallel uh, then it's if they have the same resistance it's just one divided by i mean that resistance divided by how many they are so if there's two like 12 and 12 is just six right and you can prove that um prove it like one over 12 plus uh, one over 12 and one over that thing, right? It's going to be two over twelve, and then you uh, flip it over, find the reciprocal, twelve over twelve. I mean two. That's just six, right? Okay, so there's three twelve, so it's going to be three divided by uh, a twelve divided by three. I'm going to change my color back to uh, four, right? Okay, so all that simplifies to this, and then so let me draw this how the uh, resist the whole circuit looks like right now, okay? 10 and then this thing and then this and then this okay uh, use a different color so here we have 10 and then here is so we got 4 right from the 3 and then we plus the R here so it's going to be 4 plus R uh, resist ohms over here and then this is 60 ohms Right, and this is uh, 30 ohms. Okay, and as we can tell, uh, these, this, and this are in a uh, what do you call it? It's in a, a series, right? Because we can simplify this to the one that we usually look at. It's this and this, right? And the 60 is over here, right? The 60 is over here, the 4 plus R is over here, and the 10 is over here, and this is 30, right? So, okay, we can combine these together uh, to be 14 plus R, right? And then now we know that, okay, now the 14, see the different color, 14 plus R and 60 R are in parallel, right? So we're just going to write it out. We're just going to write it out how we usually will solve it, which is 60R ohms, sorry, uh, plus 1 over 14 uh, plus R, 1 over that. Okay? And that's going to give you some kind of number, and which is the simplified version of this resistor. Let's call it, I don't know, uh, R combined, right? RCR combined. So... Let's draw it over here. Now there's a 30, and then this is the R combined, right? Let's use green. So here is 30, and then here is the RC, right? Okay, and then from this, it's just a series. So RC plus 30 ohms, it's going to give us in the, the R equivalent, right? And it's already given, which is 50 ohms, okay? 50 ohms, so now it's just solving equations, right? And we minus 30 both sides. This is going to give us 20 ohms. It's going to give us RC. And then RC would, is the representation of this whole function over here, which is 20 ohms equals 1 over, excuse me, uh, times all this plus uh, 14 over R, right? Okay, this is the denominator, right? This whole thing is the denominator. Okay, so what we can do is, so... One so a divided by b gives you c, or a divided by c is going to give you b, right? Two divided six divided by three is uh, two equals three. Th uh, six divided by three equals two. Okay, so now we can transfer this denominator all the way to here, which is one over twenty ohms equals one plus, and then plus this, right? 
and then now it's just basic uh, uh, arithmetic like manipulations, right? So okay, we minus uh, one over sixty ohms by both sides plus uh, forty ohms plus r. So this is uh, 20, 1 over 20 minus 1 over 60, so 3 over uh, 60 minus 1 over 60, so that's 2 over 60 ohms, or uh, equals to 1 over 30 ohms, equals 1 over 15, uh, 14 ohm plus R. Okay, I'm going to uh, take this up here. Okay, so 1 over 60 ohms uh, plus, e sorry, equals 1 over 14 uh, plus r, okay, and then we cross multiply. So one times this, this times this, so it would just be 14 plus r uh, equals 30 ohms. And then now we solve for r minus 14 by both sides. It's going to give us uh, 1 over uh, 16 ohms, and uh, that's how we find r. So this is a yeah a little bit uh, difficult, a little bit uh, different than how we regularly. Uh, solve this type of questions but you know remember uh what if let's say we need you know your, your professor will probably say like um not perfect like in industry right they say okay this whole uh thing like for example the 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 resistance of the arm is 50 ohms it needs to be 50 ohms right and then now you know you have to go in there and say okay the 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 thumb has less resistance than the middle finger of the robot then well okay it's, it's all the resistance given to you. Now we have to determine, okay, what, what is the resistance of the middle finger for the robots? And then you have to solve it like this, right? Obviously, it's a lot more complicated um, in the real in the industry, but this is just the beginning, right? We're learning the f uh, foundations. So yeah, hopefully uh, this question explained it, how we can solve this thoroughly. Uh, it's, it's very math heavy. Uh, you know, if, we, if we're just finding the R equivalent, it's not the most difficult questions that it can give you, right? It's it's more of you know taking, you know taking the gar within our equation, and solve it uh, along the way and carry it over and then solve for r like we solve for x uh, in an unknown, right? Okay. Uh, hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, good luck on your studies, and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye.